Hi guys, I'm Arielle with Arielle Paints. Welcome back to my channel. Today I get to do something super, super fun. I get to show you Leanne Courtney's collection of One Strokes. They are global One Strokes. She partnered with them to create this line and I've been obsessed with it for a long time. And I was insanely flattered and shocked when she contacted me and said she was gonna send me some One Strokes. I was like, okay, yes. Um, if you are a longtime viewer, you will have seen that I use her one strokes in a lot of designs. I have mentioned her in my videos and she's one of my paint obsessions. So when she messaged me, it was one of those moments of like, huh, Leah Courtney is messaging me. She is so lovely and so gorgeous and so sweet. And she's one of those people that even though we've only ever messaged, the second I see her someday, I know I am just going to want to hug her. She is absolutely lovely. So if you do not follow her, go follow her work. Her designs are lovely. And this line of paint that she has created is brilliant and amazing. I've never seen anything like it. So I'm going to go through this paint. I'm going to give you a little bit of a backstory as to how she created this line because I was really curious about it. So hopefully I'll do that justice. Um, I'm going to do some swatches and I'm going to tell you how I discovered her paint as well. So stick around and we're going to get into it. Okay, so first things first. Um, I asked Leanne how she came up with this line because I was always wondering how. I was always curious anyways. The first, let me find it. Okay, so the first split cake that I ever got, and this is mine, this is one I purchased a while ago, is the Leanne's Rainbow. I think that's just what it's called. My, uh, my magnet's covering it up. But this is, I'm pretty sure, the just traditional Leanne's Rainbow. Um, and this is what actually started the line. So I remember when I first got this, I ordered it from someplace. It arrived, I swatched it on my hand, and I thought to myself, who is Leanne? Like, who created this? It is bright and brilliant and amazing and it's so different than a traditional rainbow. I mean I love a rainbow but a traditional rainbow is just that. It's a traditional rainbow. It can be kind of boring. This is so bright and colorful and fantastic that I distinctly remember trying to find online. I'm like who is this person? Like how did they make this? Um, and then later when I started talking to Leanne Courtney I asked her what's the story behind this? Basically, what she told me is that she was frustrated with rainbows. She had been trying to create a rainbow design, and they were always getting muddy, and she didn't really like it, and she was really, really frustrated and kind of at her wit's end. And then one day, she cut up some colors and created a rainbow that she made work for her better. And that's where Leanne's rainbow started. From that, she then worked with Global to create a whole line of one strokes. Each one is as brilliant and gorgeous as the next. Let me see if I can gather them all up and show you guys kind of a mix of them without spilling them all over myself, which will probably happen. Okay, hold on. Still working on it. Okay, so these are the six that I have that I'm going to swatch for you guys, and I'll go through and name each one while I'm swatching them. Hopefully the camera is picking up the colors of these. I think one of the reasons these are so brilliant and bright and striking is how she mixes those neons with the darker colors, the arrangement of them. They have amazing contrast, and the paint quality is really, really good. If you've ever used Global Paints, it's a really high-quality, nice paint. So... I'm going to get into it and I'm going to start swatching these. As I swatch them, I'm going to tell you what I use a lot of them for as well because there's some that are like the staples in my kit and that I just love. So I'm going to start. Also, this isn't a sponsored video. I'm not getting paid to do this or anything, just so you guys know. Leanne did send some of, me, some of these one strokes to me because I didn't have them. And she just sweetly wanted to say thank you to me for being a fan of her which is so crazy because I'm such a fan of her. So for her to thank me and know that she's watching my videos is bananas. So hi, Leanne. Thank you for watching. Um, so I'm going to start swatching these and let's get into it. 
stick around to the end of this video and I'm going to show you a time lapse of how I layered all of these amazing one strokes to create this kind of tribal rainbow princess. Now this is totally taking a page out of Leanne Courtney's book because she layers her one strokes together all the time like this and creates butterflies and fairies and unicorns. And I do it a little bit, but not as well as she does. Um, so I wanted to kind of continue practicing doing that, which is where this design came from. So stick around at the end and you will see that time lapse. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is Leanne's Rainbow, which is one of my favorites. I'm also going to show you guys how to load this correctly because there is a right and a wrong way to load one strokes and specifically when working with anything with neons. Neons tend to be a little translucent, so if you do not load the brush well, you're not going to get good coverage. So I have a three quarter inch angled brush. My favorite one is from the face painting shop. I am obsessed with these. I have like six of them in my kit. And you can spray the cake as well, um, and I will spray my cakes on the job, my one strokes and my rainbow cakes, but I'm just dipping in some water. My brush is pretty saturated, but it is not dripping. And let's see if I can do this in the camera. And then I'm going to start to pull my brush back and forth over the cake. I'm going to start slowly and then I go back and forth switching from one side to the other but then I also will drag one side and then drag the other side and I'm going to keep doing that until it's loaded all the way up to the ferrule. I want the belly of the brush which is the middle of the brush well loaded, the toe of the brush which is the tip and up to the ferrule. If I am only loading the tip of the brush or up to the belly, I'm not gonna get good coverage. So I will continue to load this up. Okay, so I am going to just sweep this right over my wrist. How gorgeous is that? I mean, it's brilliant, right? It's so bright and beautiful. I just love it. I love it. Um, like I said, the first time I ever swatched this, I was just obsessed and thought to myself, who is this woman and how do I find her? <laughs> Sounds like I'm a stalker, but I'm not, I swear. Okay, so that's Leanne's Rainbow, one of my faves. Moving on to the next one stroke. So this one is called Summer Days. It is so bright and so neon. This is another one that I did this mermaid design with it once and then I went outside to go hang out with friends because I was painting inside and everybody was outside hanging out and it like glowed in the dark. And I remember looking down and thinking to myself like, what are these colors? So bright and so fantastic. So here we go. I'm going to do the same thing. I've got my brush well um, loaded with water. And this one is very, very neon-y. So you really, if you just load it once and then start painting, nope, don't do it. Keep working it in. It is worth taking the time on the job to load your brushes because you're going to do less work on the skin if you load your brushes correctly the first time. Give it a good swatch for you guys. Trying to do it in the camera is really hard. Look at that. Hopefully my light is doing this justice too. It's always hard in the studio to see what's going on, but hopefully on camera you can see this. Isn't it cool? I love that. It's a great, great layering color. So I do use um, Leanne's rainbow a lot just as a traditional rainbow. Summer days, I'll use as eye designs. Um, I'll use it for like butterflies fairies, anything ethereal and pretty that I want. It looks awesome under a black light as well. So there's that. I love those colors. This truly is one of the most gorgeous cakes 
that I've ever, 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 ever used. This is one that if you took all of my other one strokes away from me, you can't take this one because I need it. All right, so we'll give this a swatch. Great, like, sunset-y colors. Look how crooked I did that. Eek. There, that's a little bit better. <laughs> it's like just this gorgeous, sunset-y, brilliant, beautiful colors. Absolutely love, 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 love them. Okay. This is another one that I purchased this summer. It is the Leanne's Lollipop. And it, when I bought it, I thought to myself, well, it kind of just looks like the rainbow. I don't know if I'm going to like it. I like it even more than the rainbow now. It has similar colors, but it is different. There's one more color in it, I believe. Where'd my rainbow go? So yeah, it has that pink and orange, which makes it really look completely different than the rainbow. Um, the last event I did, I grabbed this one and used it as my rainbow. And I was like, man, my rainbows look really good. And it was all because of this. Okay, ready? So there is Leanne's lollipop. There we go. Hopefully you can see that really well. All those colors are so brilliant. <laughs> I'm going to have quite the interesting arm when I'm done with this video. Aren't they all so pretty? I love the value change. I mean, this neon Nirvana just gets me every time. Um, so the traditional rainbow, I feel like has a little bit more of that, of course, traditional red, and then you kind of go into the uh, corally pink, yellow, green, and then the blue. And the way the yellow and the blue is arranged, it creates that really pretty green color. This is definitely a really unique, um, the summer days is just a really unique bright neon. That neon nirvana is like the most gorgeous sunset you've ever seen. And then the lollipop one, like I said, it's kind of become my favorite rainbow, especially these last few events I've done. I've really, really enjoyed using it. I just made a little bit of a mess out of that, didn't I? Let's fix it. That's a little bit better. <laughs> Okay, so this is one that she just sent me, and I'd seen people use it, and I've always loved the way other people used it, but I didn't know how I was going to use it, so I'd never purchased it on my own, but Leanne sent it to me, and I actually used it last night on a bunch of designs, and I love it. Something about the green and the purple and the white, um, I'll talk while I swatch this, it's very interesting and I've seen people use it as leaf color instead of just using a green one stroke. And it's very cool when you do that. So I did it on a few designs last night and it was very, very cool. So let's take a look at this one. It's got those really, really bright neon yellows and greens and it's just a really interesting pretty different one stroke I've never seen anything like it um, it also has a really ethereal feel which I think all of her collection has this in particular is very like spritey to me like a fairy or something um, it would make beautiful like green leafed fairy so I can see that design a lot. And then again, like I said, go to her page and get some inspiration. The way she layers these, Leanne layers these, is just brilliant and interesting and makes me want to paint like her so badly. So go check that out. I've got one more to swatch for you guys. So hold on one sec. I'll get that one ready. Okay, last but not least is Island Girl. 
Oh, there is a design that Leanne did on her daughter with Island Girl that I remember seeing and thinking, like, I need that split cake. <laughs> um, so I did buy this. This one's one of the brand new ones that she just sent me. Thank you very much, because mine was starting to run out and I needed it. Um, so this is Island Girl. It's another just gorgeous, gorgeous, bright neon with those dark turquoises and that kind of medium purple shade which gives it just a really different feel than the others in her collection so once again just going to get this well well loaded um, I think too when you're loading these like think to yourself even when you think you have it loaded well load it again you will never regret loading it again, um, especially on the job. If you load these correctly the first time, you don't have to go back in. So just do it correctly the first time. You want paint all the way up. So I think this one is particularly feminine because that magenta and purple really really stand out and then you have that just like hint of turquoise so it's just a really 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 beautiful color combination I love it so here are all of Leanne's one strokes that I have and that I love each one is really very different but they go so well together um, layering them is really easy. They're so bright and beautiful. I don't know which one I like best. Every time I start using another one more, that one turns into my favorite and then I jump back to other ones. So I really like all of them very, very much. Thank you, Leanne, for watching my videos for sending me some of these and being so supportive. I appreciate it so very much. I am a huge fan of you. Um, this video is not sponsored. I'm not getting paid to say this. I was a fan of Leanne's Rainbows and have been and have fallen in love with her whole collection. Her and I connected and she very sweetly sent me these. So thank you, Leanne. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to comment down below and let me know what questions you have. Again, go follow Leanne's pages on her Instagram and on her Facebook page to get some inspiration. I know I'm constantly inspired by these. So please let me know what you guys think and thank you for watching. I will see you in my next video. As promised, here's a time lapse of the design that I did with Leanne's One Strokes. And what I'm doing here is really bouncing back and forth between the different cakes and layering them up using a lot of really traditional strokes and techniques that I would use for all sorts of different designs, but I'm just mixing them all together. I think it turned out so cool. I feel like a rainbow warrior princess. So. This was super fun to do. I will also put a link down below to Leanne's Tropical Palette that you guys can buy. It's a really affordable way to get a sampling of all of Leanne's One Strokes and start playing around with the colors. So check the description box below for a link to that palette. I'm just going to continue layering up the different one strokes until I'm really happy with the overall shape. And then I'm going to start adding black teardrops and swirls to give the design some structure and contrast. I mentioned that you guys should go follow Leanne um, Courtney's page. She is absolutely who I drew inspiration from for this look. But she also has a Facebook group called Leanne's Collection. In that group, People post all sorts of different designs specifically with her collection and with her one stroke. So I highly recommend that group as well. It's very, very inspiring. And I really like to see what people come up with with her different cakes. I do think the purple pixie, which I'm using now, is such an interesting one stroke. And like I said earlier, there's just nothing like it. 
Those greens are so bright and vibrant and the purple edge just makes it really unique and I really, really like the element that it added to this design. So now you're just going to watch me use a number six low Cornell round brush and I am adding in teardrops and swirls which just really complement all these bright neons. You could do this with white as well but I think the white isn't going to add as much contrast as the black. I do go in on the end and add a few white dots and a few white teardrops but I'm mainly creating the contrast with black. Giving myself some eyeliner as always. I did some drop teardrops on the corner of my eyes and lots of nice dots. I really work in that eyeliner. <laughs> and just making sure everything is really standing out and just trying to add to the one stroke color, not take away from it. So don't go too crazy here with the black. I don't think you need a ton because really the one strokes are doing most of the work for you. So now you're going to watch me add a little bit of the white element, just a few dots, a couple teardrops, and then I'm actually going to go over some of the black lines that I created with some very, very small white dots to create that polka dot effect. I think it adds a lot of really quick interest and detail to this design without being overwhelming. So just a few more little white dots. I'm just staying on the very, very tip of my brush, as you can see. They're very subtle, but I think it adds so much to this design. So I'm just about done. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. If you have some of Leanne's cakes, I would love to know what your favorites are and what you use them for. So tell me how you use her one strokes down below. I would love, love, love some more ideas on how I could use them. So help me out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, Leanne and Global, for creating this amazing collection that I am obsessed with. Please like and subscribe, and do not forget to ring the bell. I'm going to do more giveaways in the coming months, so ring the bell for notifications so that you can be entered into some of the giveaways that I am going to do. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.